time for another pickup video and um, I kind of held back this week just to I guess you know give you guys a heads up and the reason being is I'm actually going to the Waterloo video game convention um, tomorrow it's actually tomorrow at um, 12 o'clock so April 6th and um, Canadian Retro and I are going to drive uh, over to Waterloo together and uh, we'll probably be there for the entire event uh, starts at 12, ends at 5, so we'll be there the entire time. So hopefully we can pick up some good uh, games and uh, you'll see them in our upcoming videos. Uh, additionally, I know a lot of you guys, um, a lot of YouTubers anyways, are going to be there as well. And, um, you know, I really hope I do get a chance to meet you. And, uh, you know, I'm subscribed to a lot of you guys as well. So, uh, you know, say hi. I'm probably going to be the guy standing next to Canadian Retro trying to undercut him on some deals. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, anyways, getting into the finds here. Um, first find here was uh, from a Value Village. And it's a Pokemon Black and White uh, version strategy guide. And... Uh, I picked this up for two bucks at Value Village, and um, the only reason why is because I have Pokemon Black, and I do plan on playing that at some point. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to have a strategy guide, and for the price, I mean, it's really hard to turn it down. Next, I went to a Salvation Army and picked up uh, Halo Combat Evolved. Um, while I was at the cashier, actually, the cashier said, oh, we have more video games over here if you want to take a look. And I went over and took a look and uh, found uh, The Legend of Spyro, A New Beginning. And um, that's the only other one that um, they had that the discs weren't scratched to hell. All the other games were in terrible shape. So, um, like I said, picked up these two games. Uh, and I actually went on a half price day that they had. And I didn't even know they had half price days at Salvation Army. Uh, a lot of the Salvation Armies in my area... Um, they put their video games up to up for auction and it really makes it hard for a collector to buy a game at a decent price because the auctions always go for way more than what the items are worth so anyways I picked up these two here and uh, they're priced at five bucks a piece but I got them half off so ended up paying two dollars and fifty cents a piece and both are complete um, I don't have Spyro already, so I'll be keeping that. And uh, Halo, I'm going to probably bundle that with the system and uh, um, sell it off. So Next, I went to the Great Canadian Superstore again. And um, they still have that deal where uh, they're trying to clear out a bunch of older games. And they're clearing them out for $4.94. So at least mine is. And... Um, it's really hard to find a good game in there, but I did find another copy of Lost in Shadow. And uh, again, this was $4.94. Next, I picked up at a Talese, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, and um, I paid 3 bucks for this one. And the only reason I picked this up, obviously I have the game, um, but the only reason I picked this up is because it's harder and harder to find Genesis games. Especially, you know, with their clamshell and uh, manual. Um, this one here is in good shape. It's missing the manual though. So uh, even still though, for three bucks, I couldn't turn it down. And I just, you know, like I said, it, it's harder and harder to find these um, Genesis games around. And um, I remember when I first started collecting, one of the first systems I picked up uh, was a Genesis. And uh, I actually built most of my Genesis collection when I first started recollecting my collection. And uh, it was so easy to find Genesis games back then, but I think with the more more collectors out there now and, you know, resellers and all that, it's really getting harder to find these. So, you know, when you come across them, uh, unless they're a sports game, I always try and pick them up. Uh, and obviously, unless they're like 10 bucks, but, you know, if they're priced reasonably, I'll pick it up. Next, I went to GameStop and picked up uh, Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. And um, I usually always pick up Fire Emblem games, uh, usually when they come right out. So um, the reason being is that I don't think they sell as well as other um, Nintendo franchises. And the prices for these games always go up. 
So I uh, ended up paying $18 for this, and when I was at the cashier um, at GameStop, uh, they had two attendants there, and the store manager walked in, and he looked down and saw what I was buying, and uh, he was kind of surprised. He's, you know, he basically said, whoa, when did that come in? And uh, obviously, you know, I can read the tag, and I know when it comes in, so uh, it was st actually stickered two days ago, um, and I told him, and uh, I actually know the manager that works there as well, and um, he said, well, he kind of stood around and said, well... Um, I guess you and I are the only two that know how hard it is to find this game. And, you know, the other two attendants were really quiet at that point. So, uh, I guess he was right. Um, so anyways, I'll be fi adding, uh, Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon to my collection. And, uh, I look forward to playing it. I do enjoy these Fire Emblem games. Next, I went to GameStop. Uh, sorry, not GameStop. Uh, we got games. And... Obviously, I picked up Infamous Second Son. Uh, the reason being is I actually had this pre-ordered in the U.S., and I ended up canceling it for personal reasons and kind of regretted it. Um, in the U.S., this game's still priced at $59.99. Uh, in Canada, because of the weak Canadian dollar, all the retailers have jacked up their prices, and most normal retailers... Um, for example, we got games. They priced their games at um, sixty four ninety nine, and the reason being is uh, again because of the weak Canadian dollar, uh, the amount of profit they make on a new game is very minimal. And knowing the store owner, he kind of explained it to me, and it totally makes sense. Um, they normally make seven dollars off a new per new uh, video game purchase, and with the Canadian dollar going down, um, they end up buying a lot of their stock in the U.S. So they end up paying more, actually, out of pocket to get the same games. And uh, it went from, he told me it was $52 a game to $58 a game. And it seems very minimal, but when you're only making $2 profit off a game, is it really worth doing it? Uh, so basically... All the retailers had to increase their price to still make that $7 profit. And even $7 doesn't seem like a lot of money, but they make most of their um, profit off of used games. And, I mean, if you don't know this already, that's the way GameStop works as well. So, um, like I said, most retailers increased their prices by that $7. Uh, so it's $64.99. Um, GameStop, Walmart, Ta Target and Amazon, uh, Amazon Canada, uh, all increased their price to $69.99. So, 70 bucks. And um, there's no way in hell I'm gonna pay $70 for a new release. Even if it's something I really, really want to play, like Infamous Second Son, I'm gonna hold off and uh, wait. And I'm glad I did. Um, like I said, I had this pre-order in the US, canceled it. Um, and I was going to wait for you know it to be a little bit cheaper, but when I went to We Got Games, uh, they had it on. Uh, they had a used copy already for uh, forty nine ninety nine, so fifty bucks. And it's a limited edition, which is again the one I had pre ordered. And uh, I wasn't sure if the code worked. Um, the game came out last week, so chances are the code didn't wasn't used. Uh, but I went to GameStop afterwards, and uh, again, I know I know the uh, manager there. So I started talking to him, and he said, you know what? Um, I'll just print you off a, a promo code for the infamous Collector's Edition on the PS4. And that's why I have this here. You can see the activation code next to me. And um, the code's already used, so that's the only reason why I'm showing it. So don't even bother trying to, you know, try it out. Um... So like I said, you know, the GameStop manager um, printed this off for me. I used it, and I've actually been playing Infamous Second Son quite a bit. Um, I'm already about halfway through the game, and I only picked it up... Um, I think I picked it up on Wednesday. So my guess is I'll have it done by the end of the week. And uh, I'm probably going to go for the Platinum on this one as well, just because I've Platinum the first two Infamous games. Um, they're really not 
hard platinums, so, um, you know, I enjoy it quite a bit, and, uh, I'm actually playing more of the side missions than I am the actual story right now, so, uh, like I said, it's definitely a good one, so, if you're looking for something to play on your PS4, pick this one up. Um, last but not least, I usually don't show movies in my pickups, um, I picked up Sucker Punch, and I haven't seen this, I don't know if it's good, and uh, I kind of wanted some, you know, people's feedback on this movie. It, should I keep it? Should I sell it? I'm not sure. I picked it up from a Goodwill. Um, I picked it up on a half price day, so I ended up paying three dollars uh, even for this, and it's still brand new, factory sealed in a steel book edition. Um, again, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know if it's good or not, but. If it's good, I'd like to keep it. If it's garbage, I'm probably just going to sell it off. So give me your feedback on this. Um, I know I can sell this for between 25 and 35 bucks, But again, if I'm going to keep it, I'm going to open it up and enjoy it myself. So give me your thoughts in the comments. So anyways, those are the pickups for the week. And uh, like I said, I'll be at the Waterloo Video Game Swap tomorrow with Canadian Retro. Uh, if you see him and you see some smaller guy next to him, that's probably me, so come by and say hi. And um, I'll probably do another pickup video, hopefully, if I do pretty well at the video game swap. Um, probably early next week just to show it off and uh, kind of keep it as a separate video than my weekly pickups. So anyways, until next time, take care. Actually, I lied. I actually did have one more pickup. Um, and the reason I forgot about this is it was actually sitting in my Sega Genesis. Usually when I pick up um, a game, I'll put it aside and I won't touch it until I'm ready to do the video. However, um, when this came in, I put it in my Genesis to try it out and was playing around with it for a bit and totally forgot to take it out. Um, so obviously it's Shining Force 2. And um, I picked this up off of A. Crosby, 1099, and he recently picked up a Model 3 Sega Genesis along with uh, Shining Force in it. And he already has it, um, so he sent me a, a message saying, hey, if you're interested in purchasing this off me, let me know, and maybe we can work something out. So um, we worked out a number, and I'm not going to disclose what I paid for this, uh, just know that it's below retail and actually well below retail in my area if you look at Kijiji and um, and that but um, yeah I have now added Shining Forest to my collection and um, I will say though that I'm gonna have to prob probably play it on a smaller TV mainly because on a 60 inch uh, HD TV it doesn't look that great and it looks really really blocky for obvious reasons so um, Gonna have to break out the old 32-inch um, Sony Wega TV and um, play it on that. Uh, what I did play, I did enjoy though. So um, I'm not sure how long this game is, and you know most RPGs are pretty long. So I will um, give it a go, and I, I hear great things about it. So, anyways, uh, just wanted to thank A Crosby 1099 for this as well. And uh, until next time, take care. I will say right now I am watching the Jays game while I'm doing a little bit of housework. Um, figured I'd do a little bit of work today and then uh, have fun at the convention tomorrow. So, anyways, take care.